From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. This is the reality of the coronavirus restrictions as the government sees it. Less and until we can get the vast majority of people vaccinated so that even if you have the anti-vaxxers, a few of them still left, um, the impact will be the, the chances of that kind of viral massive breakthrough are greatly reduced. The emergency or similar emergencies will continue. That's Attorney General Carl Bethel in the Senate yesterday leading the debate on the resolution sent over from the House, which extends the emergency powers orders to August 13th. It passed in the Senate without support from the opposition. Health officials remain concerned about the slowdown in the vaccination effort, and they're again urging persons to get vaccinated, either using the online registration process or by walking up to one of the walk-up sites. Health officials remain busy with another 75 confirmed cases reported out of 371 tests carried out on Wednesday, 61 of those cases in the capital, 51 persons in hospital, 4 in the ICU. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. The competent authority making some adjustments to corona restrictions in reaction to the recent numbers, shutting down indoor cinemas again, and some entertainment businesses also, including regattas, festivals, and jet ski operations. Outdoor cinemas and cookouts among those on the allowed list. Those restrictions for Abaco, Exuma, Luther, and the Capitol, including Paradise Island. Hotel union officials not happy with the plan for those 700 persons let go by the Atlantis Resort to be paid their severance in installments. The union is urging affected persons not to accept that. Civil aviation officials looking into the crash landing of a small plane at the airport in San Andros yesterday. Two persons on board, the pilot and one passenger, neither hurt. Police say they're now questioning two boys in connection with that government high school stabbing incident, which left one student dead and another with injuries. The hurricane season doesn't begin officially until June 1st, but there's already activity out there. Two systems being monitored for development heading into the weekend, none likely to be a problem for us. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Turning partly cloudy tonight, still a bit breezy. Overnight lows from the low to upper 70s. 70 at Freeport, 73 in the capital, 76 at Matthew Town. Caution flags are still up for boaters. Still some choppy seas in the area. Winds and seas decreasing in time. High tide now, the next low around 10 this evening. Saturday's forecast, mostly sunny. Highs in the low to mid-80s. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World news headlines with a ceasefire now in place in the Middle East. Countries will be watching to see if it holds. The agreement ends 11 days of hostilities between Israel and Palestine. It left more than 200 persons dead. With that in place, U.S. President Biden now turning to other foreign relations matters, hosting South Korea's president at the White House today, discussing, among other things, the North Korean threat. Now there's trouble brewing in Algeria. Police have been called into the capital to try and quell what has become weekly protests against the government there. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports section on TV. There's soccer and more soccer and the NBA playoffs. The last West play-in game, Memphis and Golden State for the final spot. That'll be on TV tonight. Jazz and the Marlins at home against the Mets in Major League Baseball. A full schedule. John Quill Jones and the Sun on the road tonight in the WNBA. 
They'll be playing at Phoenix. And if you like golf, the PGA Second Round is on TV. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper, on the streets first thing in the morning, stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.